Okay, Munchkins, today's a special day. Today, we're going to start learning how to country square dance. Next month, we are going to have a spaghetti dinner right here in this gym. It seems that our school district has forgotten that the PE department also needs new equipment. Just like the library needs new books and prettier women. Now, are we just going to sit around and do nothing? No way. We're going to raise the money and buy the equipment so that I can give you a physical education. Yeah! Well, now you might ask, what does that have to do with country square dancing? Well, no one in their right mind would pay $5 to sit here and eat school spaghetti. Yeah, the cooks don't wash their hands here. They're very dirty. Whatever. Not only are your parents going to be forced to pay $5 and eat school spaghetti, they're also going to be forced to sit here for a couple hours and watch you kids dance. And if any of your parents don't come, you know what that means? What? It means they don't love you. Now I'm going to make this real simple. What you do is you lock arms, you spin around in a circle two times, then you switch arms and you go the other way two times. I will demonstrate. Tom. I scare you. No. All right then. I'm never gonna scare you again. How you doing? Good to see you. I'm really glad you came by. You're my third customer. Today? No, this month. It's been a bad month for business. What's this? The book you let me borrow. Well, what happened to it? Um... Oh, it doesn't matter. I couldn't have sold the thing anyway. Okay, I've cleaned up enough. You know what? People don't appreciate magic anymore. I wish there was a trick we could do to make it popular again. Yeah, me too. Hey, I got something to show you. Check out this picture. Who do you think that is? The fat guy? Yeah. Uh, you? No, it's not me. It's my friend Jerry from school. He's a very successful man now in the computer game. That's you? Yes, I was even fatter than Jerry. Well, you look really pathetic. I was miserable as a kid. The other kids used to make fun of me, and they were very mean to me, and they used to call me names like butt face and butthead and buffalo butt and bubble butt and Mr. Cheeks. Mr. Cheeks? Mr. Cheeks, they called me that. And then they'd, they'd steal my shoes and throw them up on the roof of the school. Well, then what happened? Well, I grew up, and now they can't steal my shoes. And you know what I'd do if they did? I'd smoke them! Did I scare you? No, but how'd you do that? I cannot tell you, my friend. Like they always say, you gotta leave them wanting more. Hey, how about this? What do you think? <laughs> you look like a mosquito. That's for sure. Mm, try these. You look so cute. So? You look good enough to kiss. I love you so much. Yes. I'll take this.
four ninety five. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it says so right here. Four ninety five. So you're gonna buy them, or are you gonna put them back? Could you like save them for me? I'm the only pair left. Sorry, can't do that. Why not? Because I can. It's company policy. I understand. I've got to finish film school. Seven years, man. I'm gonna have my own point. Yeah, Roy, well, you'll be lucky if you get your dad's Volkswagen. Hey, Lloyd. This is Nathan's older brother, Lloyd. Hey, your brother rocks, man. The chick's digging. Still can't believe your brothers. How about a piece of candy? Hey, scared it out. That's no, only five dollars. Oh, There's snakes in there. Be careful. This is six stuff. Don't worry about it. If I give you money every time you ask what we would be doing, right? Only five dollars. All right. If you want the sunrise so bad, I want you to go and earn the money. I'm sure there's lawns to be mowed and dogs to be walked. I'll give you five bucks if you kiss my butt. Hey. <laughs> What do you want? Well, I want to know if there's anything around the house that I can do, like a job or anything. Well, what can you do? I can mow lawns, pick weeds, sweep. All right. I'll give you five dollars if you gather all the weeds in the front yard and in the backyard. Ten dollars, no less. Oh. Oh, okay, seven dollars. Kid, you've got a bargain better than that. Five dollars. And when you're finished, come and knock on the door. And if I don't answer, it's because I've passed away. You did a great job. I had some men to come and give me an estimate on cleaning up the backyard and all. And they said it would take a helicopter and 500 men to clean up the backyard and everything. Here's the money. I'll see you next week. It's mine every time, like street shine, run it down the line. Man, I can't focus. No, it's like platinum pool of blondes and Jennifer Lopez. It's like the old human situation. No, it's take those boxes off. And if you didn't notice, we're dying to just warm a cope with it. You keep smoking lights and drinking diet coke with it. Get up here! Get up here by the chalkboard! You're here to learn. Ignorance isn't something to be proud of. Now stand there. Where's my chalk? Where's my chalk? Who has my chalk? Give me my chalk back. Now, let me show you my little magic trick. Hello. You must be Tracy. Everybody, this is Tracy. Tracy, why don't you sit in that seat between Lloyd and Storm, okay? <laughs> 